and I'm back. <laughs> in Dark Tide in some... I'm, I'm a sharpshooter. I don't shoot very sharply though, because I'm only level 7. Are you two going to be wasted? Are you and Capac going to be bringing along low level characters? Or all, are all of your characters now high tier? <laughs> and I'm going to be the schmuck. Um, I have... Bring... Go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> I'm going to bring Riddick. He's like level 11, so I'm not too far ahead. Okay. How about you, Wasted? I, ha I have a 10, or I can roll a new one. But 10 shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Yeah, 10, 11, and a 7 sounds all right. Oh, you're a, you're a 7. Yeah, yeah, that'll be all good then. Yeah. Same sort of stuff. Yeah. Um. So, my plan with this was to get you guys to teach me a bit of the background of... Warhammer, since I genuinely don't know it. Uh, like, my passing understanding of it largely comes from watching a bit of your streams and when you're talking about stuff and try and gleaning very vague ideas from that. Uh, speaking of wasted streams. And that's about it. So what's this big green structure thing? The hologram. It is a hologram of the Hive City. That we are currently living within slash protecting Tertium. Okay. So Soon we will know what it smells like. It is, well, as the name suggests, Hive Tertium. It is the third major hive on the planet of Atoma Prime. So it's an arcology of sorts. Um, it's kind of, it's like an arcology, but if everything at the bottom of the arcology was decrepit. They basically kept on building, and as stuff falls to decrepit, they just fill it up with their garbage, their trash, the down and outs, the lower levels of the hives. You're sort of... It's a bit like London, where you're built <laughs> on the ruins of what was before. Okay. <laughs> it's weirdly like London, actually. <laughs> it, so it's like New New York in Futurama? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah 100%. Including with the mutants living in the sewers. Okay. Because that was going to be my next question. The the zombie things that we're fighting, they got some intelligence to them, so I'm presuming they're not zombies. No, they no. are residents. So they're just rebels. Against some the... of them are rebels. Some of them have been infected. Infected by what? By a sort of zombie plague. So in the introduction, there was... We, we, the story is not fully told as to exactly how this outbreak happened at Tertium, but uh, Nurgle basically showed up somewhere in the depths and started converting people over to his cause. Those people then launched a plague-infested train at the side of the Hive City, uh, and in doing so, unwillingly converted a whole bunch of extra people, which are the infested ones you see the maggots and stuff coming out of. Papa Nurgle oh. gave him their blessing, Papa Nurgle being one of the Chaos Gods, and normally the most caring of the Chaos Gods. Like, he actually bothers a little bit about his subjects. He's not just about, hey, you're here to serve me and die. Uh, it's just his gifts and not necessarily the gifts you might want. Wait. He'll, gi so he'll give you eternal life, but it, it might mean that you become infested and kind of like that. So a god god, like as in D&D &D type god? Uh, more like a Lovecraftian elder god. That raises more questions than it answers. <laughs> um, like a, a dark being of eternal uh, evil from another dimension. Oh, okay, so it's a planar thing, sort of idea. So in in Warhammer, there's like there's a material universe, and then there's a um, My character the, is scratching his head right now, and I feel that's appropriate. Then there's the warp <laughs> or the Empyrean, which is kind of... It's kind of side by side with the material universe, but it's shaped by the souls and thoughts of mortal beings. Uh-huh. If you know it, there's a little bit almost of the Terry Pratchett-esque. Uh, by belief in a thing, the thing gains power. Ah. Uh. So it's like the aura that, that's, mm -hmm, that's that's particularly prevalent in the warp. So the various thoughts, fears, and souls of the people in the Imperium and wider 
contributor to what is the warp and why the warp is so messed up and weird. Uh huh. Um, and it is the warp we were traveling through in the introduction where everyone, like, all the windows came down on the ship so that people couldn't see outside because the idea is vision on the warp for someone who's not. Uh, in trained in its in connection to the warp um, basically sends people mad uh, to the extent that that demon host thing we encounter in the game is an example of what happens when a psyker has lost his ability to control the connection to the warp and in doing so something's come through the other direction oh yep yeah. that fits with other things I understand so we're in space looking down on the city at the moment, yes. Yes, we are on the Inquisitor... We're, we're on a ship that is part of an Inquisitorial retinue being run by an Imperial Guard, or ex-Imperial Guard rogue trader, who is now being commissioned by Inquisitorial Lady with the funny eye that sh shows up occasionally. Uh, and we have been recruited to go and sort out the problems, or attempt to sort out the problems down there. And in fact, you can see Tershim at the window. Thanks, Dookie World. Yeah, I'm staring at Tershim right now. Or at least I assume it's Tershim. Yeah, it would be well, weird for it to be one of... The, there are three hive cities here. Um, you would assume it's... We don't it's... know what's happened to the other two. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a couple of voice lines that reference that its twin sister... Its sister city was... Has been lost in some event, but no one knows by uh -huh. what. Yeah, but no communication's one knows just gone. happened with it. Well, are you two ready to get into a squad and start a mission? Yep. Sounds good to me. And I will keep asking questions as we go. <laughs> sure. And then we'll do my best to answer. I was thinking about it when we played together the other day. I was like, I should really just, during the stream, just pepper you guys with questions. Yeah, if there's, if there's anything you want to know about. Because I think it'll make it much more interesting for me to interact with this game if I understand the backstory. Because, like, it makes sense that when you make a Warhammer game, you just assume people know backstory and you don't try and provide too much exposition. Um, so I can very much understand that. But as someone who is so blind to all of it, there's a lot I'm missing out on. That I think, from the way you two have talked about the game, adds a lot of fun depth to what you're doing. Um, well, in an otherwise cop shootery type game. One of the really interesting things about the way the Warhammer 40,000 universe has been constructed is that somebody coming into it fresh has about as much knowledge of what's going on as your common individual in the universe. Ah. Because okay. knowledge is so, like, knowledge is carefully power. restricted yep. and everything is censored and looking into things is frowned upon. Like, your average dweller in the city that we're going into probably doesn't even know that we're up here in a ship with an Inquisitor going on these missions. There's a decent chance they don't even know that there's stuff going on in the base of the Pipe City mm -hmm. outside of occasional blackouts and the like. Yeah. You get, you get the impression that most Hive Cities have something going on in the basement. Uh, the only question is how bad is it? Yeah, that was that was the assumption that I kind of was going with with what you guys had said about it. All right, that's right. Flagellatus is your character, isn't it? Wait, yep. It? Oh yes, the the joyous of hair, the most joyous mm. of hair. Is it is it flagellatus or is it flagellitis? I will leave that down to you. <laughs> One of them sounds more like a disease. <laughs> I I prefer flagellatus. Because, yes, <laughs> the other one does sound like a disease. <laughs> the idea was playing on the flagellant um, mm. that is frequently used in Warhammer as opposed to 40k. Now, that's Cunt. also why I read it as flagellatus, was because mm. I was the... thinking flagellant like you you take the whip. Indeed, well, and which fits for a zealot, I think. The Ecclesiarchy does have arco flagellants. First experience of 40k was in the form of a tabletop RPG. Yeah, I I I feel like to play a lot of our tabletop stuff, like where you're going full roleplay, you kind of need to know the world a bit better. 
or at least understand the character you're setting up. Otherwise, you need a very good guide so that you don't make some very silly mistakes. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, Arco Flagellants are a unit that are criminals that have been condemned to death that are pumped full of stimulant drugs and sent out onto the battlefield to kill anything that gets in their way. And they're a unit employed by the church and their military conflicts. Uh-huh. Is there a disadvantage to consecrating things? Um, you probably... There's an advantage and a disadvantage. If you, if you do it now, it'll make your current equipment more effective. But the materials will generally be more valuable to use on higher tier gear that you'll get at higher levels. So there's oh, something okay. to be said for saving them and something to be said for spending them. Yeah, I do, my chat's talking about what flagellitis might be, and um, yeah, let's not. <laughs> of course they are. Let's let's not talk about what that could be. Is <laughs> the only thing I can think of is not something I want to be talking about on stream. He is a man full of zeal. Leave it at that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have we, have we got a squad going yet? Yeah, Wasted's already invited me and I'm his, in his squad. Okay. In fact, I joined your squad intentionally because I think whoever's the squad leader is also the squad host. Oh. As in game host. So I, I should invite actually uses Kamak, the local networking. Uh, he can request to join your strike team as well. I uh. just was trying to make sure that it was you guys had the better ping, if you know what I mean. Yeah, although the other night oh. I didn't notice oh, yeah. anything at all. There we go. Riddick has joined. Um. So what difficulty level do we want to do? A two or a three? Two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, we, we tried some threes yesterday and failed miserably and then Wasted brought in his level 30 Psyker and we just pulled through. Yeah, even then it was hard work. I was mean, that just with two of you and two psycho. randos? No, no, that was, that was with the, we were fully squatted up. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. I think one of the biggest, uh, there's a lot about this game that's incomplete. One of the things that gives me a lot of hope for the future is their difficulty curve is fantastic. You, as it goes up, you really start having to work for it and it feels very rewarding doing so. No, okay. Not necessarily yeah, that's because you get a good reward at the end, but because the actual process of beating it is very fun. Uh, did we lose Wasted? I've just been thrown into a mission. Yeah? Because uh, I'm on the loading screen and there's two just uh, bot criminal dudes. I'm on the loading screen and there's no one in the dropship with me. I'm on the loading screen. There's one Ogren and what I think are two bots, but I'm wondering if that's just they haven't. It hasn't transferred to me your cosmetics mm. yet. I see a split C. Yeah. Oh. And a red. I think. I think the cosmetics just didn't get transferred. Oh dear. That's just great. My word. Hello. Oh dear. No, I don't. I think my game just crash crashed. Report. <laughs> 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 This is not a good way to start. <laughs> I see what's happened. Because we quick played, it's thrown us into a game already in progress. With three empty slots. Oh. That's yeah. why it loaded so weird. This game's already going. Oh. Yeah, well, both Capac and I crashed, so. <laughs> Do you want me to back out? And we'll no. just try, try again. We, we should be able to rejoin. Should be able to try and re rejoin. Yeah, I just, I I crashed on, um, I think, a mutant or capac going, rawr! And they kept, they played a few times. 
Oh dear. No, no, wasted streaming. He's on Twitch. He's over on his Twitch. Yeah, I just started. I can see his chat. Uh, I did send Splitzy a squad stream invite. Oh, you did? You and did. if Wasted's going, we can send him one too. Yep. I don't you remember where you go and accept it. All right, I'm back in. I've accepted your squad stream thing, Capac, so you can start it if you want. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I normally am the one, the one that hosts it, so oh. you've got to do it this time. Start. Oh, Manage. My. Add. The Rangers did. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I did the other day to get my start menu to go away. What the? Alt enter maybe? Whoa, okay, that was weird. I, uh, I alt tabbed yeah, back it, in. Alt enter worked. It's been so long since I used that shortcut, I just wasn't even thinking to do it. <laughs> I can see you guys properly in the dropship now. And wasted with his weird hair over on, over there on the left. <laughs> and there's Riddick in front of me. You need to check it out in an elevator. <laughs> yeah, as it jiggles. When, when the physics when the physics <laughs> kicks in. <laughs> I alt tabbed back into the game and I saw a bunch of like ghost zombies walk past that had already been killed, but it was oh. like replaying what had happened. What the? Whoa! Whoa! What the? <laughs> Okay, there's some lag shenanigans <laughs> happening. Can I kill you guys? Yep. Alright, you guys can die. Apparently today's thing is going to be accidentally hitting G instead of F and throwing stun grenades at stuff by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Alright, I've had enough of this. Whoa! How about I'm standing in the middle of that? Yeah, try to dodge. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> nice stuns on that for the trappers. I hadn't noticed quite how effective that was at locking him up. Mm. Yeah, it's got a lot of stagger, the uh, heavy stubber. So, is this supposed to be somewhere people live, or is this, like, abandoned even beyond that? No, nah, this is proper, like, living area. Living quarters. Um, okay, it's for the... Not the scum and villainy of the hive so much, but the... Human life is not worth very much in the 40k universe, uh, and this is where your sort of oh. workers and so on would live, which is who all these people are we're killing. They were working in this area and living in this area up until the Nurgle stuff happened. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this is like a residential slash commercial district. Don't matter really. Chain of command still applies, even around here. Our objective at the moment is actually like a marketplace. You can tell by the fact that it's got the cart from Vermintide in it. There's a sign here here that says bravery <laughs> in a bottle. <laughs> Oh, that's the Medicaid station over there, the Healy thingy. Yes, with one of our server to friends. Yeah, see, that, that guy you just killed had like a horn coming out of his head. Well, that was a bad time to get distracted by the horn sticking out of his head. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> that, that's a The mutie just wanted to be part of it as well, give you a nice view on what was happening. That's a sign of Nurgle's rot. Ah. 
He has bestowed upon you his gifts. He thinks you would like, very much like some horns. It's nothing like an unexpected growth. They could be useful. You never know. It's really hard to shoot past Capac sometimes. Yeah. Well, I'm actually well suited to deal with those big guys because I've got... Um, I do double damage to them and they do half damage to me. Seems fair. You're similar size. Who am I following? Uh, hey, Dragnon, thanks for the gift subs. At Gnomus, no, this is not a Tyranid invasion, thankfully. Although there is a suspicion that that might come next. You know that hive that we mentioned that we haven't heard anything oh. from? <laughs> what? What is a Tyranid? Uh, bad news. <laughs> a Tyranid is a bio-evolved species, basically of living weapons that go around a little Borg-like, absorbing the genotype and sort of genetic information of species huh? they encounter in order to further their own bio -Borg. race and create more... Yeah, Bioborg. Um, they are a manufactured species. Um, manufactured as in with a lot of the races in this game to fight one of the other races in this game. Oh, so they're cane toads. Yeah. Um, and... <laughs> yeah. Manufactured and then it all went wrong. Well, not really. Um, the people that manufactured them weren't too bothered about it all going wrong. That was kind oh. of the point. Ow. Okay. The guy just hit me through Capac. Yeah, he's big. Uh, but yes, they are um, similar to uh, Alien in appearance, or at least the basic appearance of a gene stealer. Um, Six-armed creature, looks like it should have a mouth inside its mouth, that sort of deal. And then there are many other versions and evolutions beyond that. Uh, and they're living killing machines. So yeah, I can see why that might be bad. I'm also and wondering why I haven't seen a RimWorld planets. mod for them. Because they're like the way they function from a like genealogy basis would be very hard to recreate. They're mm. they're a bit like the Zerg, except it all happens in ships, like big bio-made spaceships. Oh. Um, yeah. You guys might want to use that. That thing. Very hive mindy. The Medico station. Wasted? Uh, he likes his health low because he does more damage. Oh, yeah. right. I see. Uh, my, my class is based on the toughness bar more so than the HP bar because uh, I can regen it quite well yep. and quite quickly. But as such, you run around on low health and rely on your toughness to keep you alive oh, and try not to get melee because melee goes through toughness. Flamer around somewhere? Oh yeah, there he, there is. he is. He was guarding some large plasteel. Oops, bad time to reload. Yeah, bio ships, and they come up, show up, and devour your entire planet. So basically, a hive city completely disappearing would be a pretty good sign you got a Tyranid problem. Ah, uh, yep. Well, it depends what kind of Tyranid problem, though, because it could be a gene stealer cult problem. It could be a cult problem, yep. Or it could be a Tyranid invasion. Well, if it was a Tyranid invasion, we should have seen signs from more. We'd know about it, yeah. It's, that's why it's probably Gene Stealer Cult. Gene Stealer Cult being, as you might imagine, a faction of utter lunatics that took it upon themselves to worship the Tyranids instead of otherwise. And the Tyranids have gone, yeah, well, you seem like you might be vaguely useful, so sure. <laughs> nice, a nice little distraction. 
Yeah, the, the Jane Steelers were specifically created as like a vanguard force by the Tyranids that they could like seed onto planets to prepare them for being eaten. Ah. And if if a if a Gene Stealer cult reaches maturity, it can have like the entire planet just surrender to the invading alien forces and then they just get rounded up into um, acid pits where their biomass is dissolved. <laughs> Delicious. I gotta admit, Wasted, your, your flame torch, your flamethrower thing seems fun, but not as damaging on an individual basis. As you'd hope. It's not that damaging on an individual basis, no, although it doesn't do, you do a lot of against specials, weirdly. Uh, but well. it, it's for controlling hordes. Yeah, yeah, and it's good at that. Help, I'm in the elevator. What are you doing in the elevator? Oh! That's some horrible toxic fire. Can, can we. That's no, a there's fire. a mutant in that fire. Ow! Get off me. Oh. I thought you were a bad guy because you were green, but you were just on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I want to unlock that sword. Hell's pack down. Thank you. You're welcome. Where is he? Alright, where's the scanny thingy? Alright, I got your back. That looks like no. What the? Where did I get shot from then? They can be tricky. The way they use the cover is um, pretty solid, if yeah. annoying. <laughs> Especially with how horrendously inaccurate the guns are. Uh, yeah, at the moment, you're yeah. playing sharpshooter, right? Yeah, um, yeah you, you, you're, you're going to end up with some feet. very precise weaponry. Then I don't get to blame it on the weaponry, and it just <laughs> it just shows how bad my aim is. I'm not sure oh, sorry, I want dude. that. Sorry, dude, but is that what it is? Anti-aircraft gun at people. <laughs> it's not an anti-aircraft gun. You just took two of them and bolted it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That makes it an anti-aircraft gun. Oh, jiggle hair, jiggle hair. Oh, the hair's not jiggling. Yeah. Uh, we're going it... up, so it's being pulled down. Yeah, it's That's... being pulled down. We need, need the other type of elevator. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, see, this elevator, the light freaks out in here for me. Until we get up to the top and then it fixes itself. Yeah, it's freaking out for me too, and now it's settled. I'm guessing it's something with the RTX settings. I think so, because I'm not having it. Did you test your your end with RTX on? No, because I'm still running the 1080 Ti. Oh, I thought you switched up to the 2080 Super. No, not yet. Still got the 1080 Ti. I think that's part of the reason why. Okay, I'm not. I'm having to run it in quite low settings, but I think that's part of the reason mine's quite stable. Is because it's an ancient graphics card that's well understood. <laughs> it isn't using any of the new shiny stuff. <laughs> yep, you are probably right. This is where the flamer comes into being a problem. Is like I have nothing at range. Yeah. You know, on, on these sort of situations, I literally just have to hide behind a box and go, "Cool, hopefully everyone will get him." I'll yeah. wait for someone to get close. Yeah, it's hard to deal with range dudes with the preacher. Well, I've, I mean, I've ordered the parts for not... my upgrade, wasted. Nice. What are you going for? Uh, thirteen nine hundred k. Watch out, there's a demon host around Is here. Is you're on a 8700 at the moment? Yep. Is that right? That's correct. Good memory. 
I just have this thing with remembering oh, people's PC hardware. Are you gonna? Are you gonna go after it, Kabak? No. Let's go oh. around. I thought uh, you're. I thought you're equipped to fight the thing. I don't have my shield. Um, I could probably tank it for a while, but. Uh, I'm not sure if we've got a way. Oh dear! Oh God! Wake. Yeah. Oh. Right, Hit it in the brain. Not yet. Uh, blew it into the elevator. Oh, bad demon host. Bad. Oh, I'm out of ammo. It's almost down. All right, it's on me. I'm just going to block it. You should be able to hold it. I, was, I wasn't too bad with the... Um... Shoot it, please. I don't have any web ammo. Don't Stab it then. Do anything. Bayonet it. I'm trying. It just bounces me off it every time I get close. It's almost yep. dead. Yeah. It's dead. Big penance for that as well. Whew. That was a bad time to run out of ammo. Uh, well, it's closed the door behind us, so I guess we're going to the next area. Uh-oh. I think that's where I am. Did you just... Uh, no, that wasn't me. It was an enemy on the other side of the door. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Nice one, Rex. Uh, oh, there he is. We can rescue him over there. Oh, bomb up! Ow! Ow. So I'm just a uh, waste. I'm just hoping that uh, my motherboard arrives at the retailer soon so that then they can send me the bits. And then I'm going to upgrade my desk and my PCs. Ooh, very nice. You've got a sit stand, so you, what, you're just changing the top? or? Yeah, I'm just uh, changing the top up so that I can hopefully have the PCs on the top. Yes, yeah, way better that way. Makes it, well, especially with a sit stand, it makes it far easier than drapesing extra yeah. long cables across the room. Means it's only two cables leaving the desk rather than 15 <laughs> or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he's he's coming for the other guy. Oh. Let's get this thing plugged in. So when are, when are your when's your big upgrade installation double PC case thing getting done? Probably just after Christmas. Uh, I am currently trying to source myself a 4080 or a 4090. Yeah. I have decided it is time, uh, and it makes little sense doing a hardlined build if I plan to change yep. the graphics card out. Yep. Oh, you hit the bomb! Yeah, that happens surprisingly large amount with the axe. Just decided, oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to get cat back. Oh, it'll be epic for you to be able to finally play full on uh, ray tracing in some of the games that you play. Yep. Well, control will be the first one. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that might be. I've been waiting for a while to try that with RTX on. <laughs> Oh, 
And I'm sure you'll use it in this too, unless it is the cause for the instability. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Not that this game looks bad without it, honestly. Uh, in fact, this game looks... I've got it at the moment on basically minimum settings with everything turned off, and it still looks reasonably good. You do... You play most stuff at 1440, don't you? Uh, 1440, yeah. Pretty yeah. much everything. This is why 4080 might be what I end up going to. The mm. 4090 is a bit OTT. Yeah, like the 3090, they're kind of just made for 4K, aren't they? Ow! Being eaten by a dog. So what's up with the hounds? Are they like, are they mutants like the big dudes? Or are they some sort of thing that's been bred? Uh, I assume they're just corrupted dogs. I think it's a bit like the, um infested sort of zombie-esque people dog that's been given Nurgle's gift Nurgle dog um one of you might want to come and actually do this sure. machine mm -hmm. we have a mutie coming from somewhere down below machine done Yeah, definitely not moldy bread. Good to know, the dogs are not moldy bread. Mm. Ow. Yeah, I don't think there's a pet shop selling farm, <laughs> farm bread pox hounds. No? Organically Spiky. raised. <laughs> Free range pox sound. Raised on only the finest of what what are we? As a collective um, group. What's what The most common term I hear, hear referred to us as a collective group is rejects, so <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just sort yeah, of inquisitorial constructs for push. all intents and purposes. Push. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. I'm trying to push them all off the bridge. Yeah, you definitely can. Oh, I pushed two of them off. It's actually a um, <laughs> one of the penances for the Cyprus to push a bunch of dudes off a ledge. Where the dregs? No, the dregs are our enemies. Yeah. What are you doing over there? Yeah, because there? there's a dreg sharpshooter that I mm -hmm. keep being the one who kills. The dregs and scrags, if I remember rightly. Depending scabs. on if they're armoured or not. Scabs, that's it. Depending on if they're armoured or not. Scab bomber. the Omnisire. We do like them. Oh! Saw that land right at Wasteland's feet. That's right. I think it's time to get out of here anyway. Much longer. Watching Kamak mow everyone down. Yeah, there's a couple of missions that just end with a point that everyone refuses to leave because you just get to sit there and mow enemies down for ages. <laughs> like, Alright, we'll leave when the when the ammo runs out, will we? Have I used my special ability? No, I haven't. Head hunting. Uh you probably should now's, be that. Now's not the time. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Splits. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Your yeah. class ability becomes vital later for spotting snipers more than anything. A snipers, and you can see where mutants are coming through, coming from through walls, where dogs are coming from through walls, trappers uh. through walls, you know. See, I hadn't yeah, noticed it. that it had that impact. 
and it shows it to your team as well oh emperor's gift mark 5 infantry infantry gun I enjoy playing these games, but I've never been someone who I would class as good at them. That's right. You got me and Wasted here to carry you. Yep. Sounds delightful. I'm not sure how much carrying I'm doing. <laughs> Well, I think I'm doing a lot of carrying, better. but not through any particular skill, but just because I've got the toughness aura around me that gives you all a huge buff. Ah, oh. uh, back to the strategium. I'm confused. Come on, put me in the cutscene. I look confused cool in the cutscene. Confused by what? I'm confused by... Comparing two guns, one of them has a rating of 151, one of them has a rating of 161. Okay, ignore the ratings. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. Um, oh, the shop just changed as I was looking at it. The, the higher rated one has a primary action damage of 61 and 28 ammunition per magazine. The lower rated one has a primary action damage of 135 and 69 ammo per magazine. What? Um, it, okay, Is it that the it, LAS gun uses more ammo per shot? No. Um, so... Um, Weiser was talking about the, the primary action and secondary action numbers. We're not actually sure where those numbers are being generated. I see. You can go into, if you press V to inspect, you can then press tab and bring up like a whole breakdown of like what damage it does to what kind of targets and in what Lovely. condition. Uh, but the, the basic things you want, so you're just looking at like the infantry las gun, right? I'm comparing the infantry las gun to the infantry auto gun. Ah, okay, so comparing weapons of different types like that is a bit difficult. Um, but you, the main thing you want to look at is the modifiers. Yeah. So one of the main things for the sharpshooter is you want, um, you want damage, well, you want all of them, but damage stability. Uh, hold on, what's... This one's oh, got I twice as much damage, but a about gun, we're not a gonna. third less stability. Bit more stopping power but like the more ammo you have the better um i'll try it out and see if it feels different stopping power is good for like crowd control yeah but if you're hitting from range the main things you want to damage stability and ammo yep okay Uh, I got some kind of penance. What did I get? Oh, 25 missions of Skullbreaker. I will assist. Can I get a sword? Yes. Ooh, I can get an anointed infantry las gun. Mm. Sounds good. Don't the infantry I... las gun seem pretty decent. They're the one, normally they're one shot, single shot. Not always. You can tell by the number of bullets in the icon under primary and secondary action. Right. In oh, so there's profane, redeemed, and then the next level is anointed. Yeah, it's a uh, white, white, green, blue, purple, yellow. I'm gonna go the sword. Let's get that. Is that... Ooh. 
Mark 5 ah. Ripper gun that suppresses enemies within 5 meters on close range kill. Sounds pretty good. Class gun shoots a laser which cannot penetrate, while the auto gun shoots real projectiles that will penetrate a ton. Yep. And there's some uh, other weapon I can get later that does massive penetration, I think. Uh, yeah, the, um, you get the, the plasma gun and the bolt bolt gun. Yep. What the... Um, there's what? another Riddick here. Oh no, he disappeared. <laughs> I just... I just walked up to the shrine of the Omnisire. There was a Ogren called Riddick wearing goggles. <laughs> Someone else has recognized the appearance. Yep. So when I'm picking missions, how do I know whether I'm picking one that's joining other people or that? Uh, okay, so if because you... I didn't click quick play last time, I clicked a mission. So if. I think if you pick a mission, it can put you into an existing mission if it's like, if it's just started. Okay. But with quick play, it'll put you in at like any point in the mission. Right. But, uh, let's see. We sh Do we all see the same missions? I don't know. I see refinery. I think so, yeah. The one, in, the one in the stratum. bottom right is Hab Draco, and it's scanning yep. and scriptures and, and two things. That'd be a good one to do. Okay. Assuming you're both ready? I am. I'm good. Thank you so much. I'm dead. Wait. Let's find some Thank scriptures. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you for 75. And thanks, Celonic, for five months. That's I don't think the Psyker is allowed the bolt gun either. No, uh, it bolt gun is just veteran and zealot. Yeah, I should have shown up what my dude is. Oh. How do I look at my history, like what my background that I chose and stuff was? Uh, I don't know that there's actually any way you can see it at the moment. Oh. Right, and there's no record of it, yeah. Obviously it's recorded somehow because it dictates yeah. your voice lines and their responses, but where it's written down, I don't know. Already. Another one of these elements that sort of show that the game's not as ready as it could have been. Look at it. <laughs> Is that a chainsaw sword? <clears throat> yep. It's a two-handed chainsaw. Uh -huh. oh, have you got the two-hander now? Yeah, it unlocked a 12, and then you, you, know, you said the store had just reset while you were looking. It yeah. reset to give me a blue one immediately. Ooh, nice. With, like, good stats as well. It's like 10% damage against armored enemies and plus 12.5% 12, 12 damage on multiple hit. Oh, for three speaking seconds. of which... I managed to score a, I think it was a mission reward. I got a purple force sword that has the uh, blocks range attacks. Oh, those are friendlies. Whoops. So now with my force sword, I can just put up my shield and just march towards the ranged enemies until I'm in range. Yeah, I have one of those, they're fantastic. My current one isn't, but I want it back. The one that I got's only slightly worse than the one I'd been using already, so I've just swapped it out because I like having the shield. Ooh. Ow! That was not the way to go down. Yeah, I lost HP coming off there as well. I don't know if there is a way of doing it, but... There seem to be some stairs further around to the right. Yeah, you can go no. around and there's some ramps and things. 
of course. Or you can take the stairs. Sorry, no, the ascender. Yes, the ascend. Oh, oh. sniper. Up. Is the sniper in front? Yeah. Wow. What? I just smacked a dude with my shovel through a dumpster. Nice. Convenient that the bot will come down. There's another one coming. Ooh. What's ooh? <laughs> that was the ooh. <laughs> I just saw a big group of enemies. They're like, ooh. Killage. Oh, there's huge. Sometimes a scripture over in the uh, office over here. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, yeah, I like the sword better than the knife. Yeah. Your microphone just blew out my eardrums. Oh, sorry. You got too excited. So it didn't do that. Oh no, I had to turn back RTX on. You got but too excited about the sword. I did. There you go. Uh, that one. There you go. That's better for you. I had to put RTX back on because there was um, a bunch of background noise the other day. And it does this weird thing where if I haven't spoken for a while, sometimes it'll just go super loud. Yeah, it got some sort of auto-leveling. Yeah. Kind of wish I could turn it optionally off, but I think... I think you can with NVIDIA Broadcast, but you can't with RTX Voice. Two can play that game. Oh, sniper. Yeah, broadcast only replaces voice if you've got an RTX card. If you're using a GTX card, you have to use RTX voice. There's a burster uh, and, around somewhere. And my stream PC is using a GTX 1080, so. Whoa! Still very much GTX okay, card. Over here. Um. Yeah, so, Splitzy, if you hit F when, like, we could hear the burster just then, it'll show up for everybody where it is. Oh. Huh. That'd be useful. Oh, uh, somebody get this med pack. I can't carry it because I got the scriptures. All right, picked it up. Someone remind me to use it later. Just uh, if you hear like the click, click, click of a flamer or the uh... the cackling voices of a trapper. Oh yeah, Stuart trappers. Hate those guys. Yeah, when you hear those noises, press F. Uh, it'll also zoom in your and stabilize your uh, aim so you can hit them better. Suppressing fire!
people really do live here. I've never actually explored these places. Yeah, you literally, some of them are like living quarters that you can go into at the sides and so on. Yeah. Scriptures. Wait. Oh no, we haven't found a second. Nice and fast, GG. Yeah. Oh, my elbow looks funny. All these living quarters and not a single bathroom. Is the whole place a single bathroom? I think they just you just flush downwards, and then the next person continues the trend. If your elbow looks funny, would you say that it's almost humorous? Mm. See, that would have been okay if you'd said it quickly afterwards, but you clearly put a lot of thought into that. Oh, I had the, I had the Masha Rager. Ow. Ow. Watch out. Oh, go. Indigo. Where did he go? He's upstairs. Would now be a bad time for me to put down the. Now would be a good time for you to press F. <laughs> I think it also increases how much damage you do to them. I think so. No, I charged the wrong way. Same. <laughs> we would both charge the same wall and there was nothing there. Yeah. Would you... Get back here. Yeah. No. Oh, I do like the auto the fact that this has full auto. If I can stabilize it enough. Oh dear. This is not a place I need to be. Hey. Oh, a big fella. What the? What do you want then? He threw me down a staircase. Crap up. Yeah, I'm dropping the med pack. Nothing. Eesh. So much meat. Follow the servo skull. <laughs> no. I got so what's the? Oh dear. What's the deal with the obsession with human skulls? <laughs> Basically, like a good skull? well, they, they like skulls. It's part of the iconography of their, in inverted commas, religion, understanding that it's very important that you don't call it a religion because the God Emperor is very in particular about that. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up some scriptures. Uh, but 
Ow. Yeah, basically, this is also a universe that is a bit battle, uh, Battlestar Galactica, it's like terrified of technology. Uh, a lot of technology has been lost and it's terrified of AIs because in the past there has been big problems with rogue AIs and so every computer is in fact just made out of an person or an creature. Ah, so there's the biological level to it? Yes. Uh, instead, you know, but artificial intelligence is, is not allowed. And so anything that needs to have computer-based intelligence will end up having someone implanted into it. It's, it's like Dune, but instead of having a mentat, you stick a toaster into somebody's skull. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, we're covered. Now just picturing a skull-shaped toaster with uh, If you look around, you'll probably find oh, one. Oh, I'm being eaten. Coming. Oh god, no I'm not. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, if you, if you look around, you may well find a toaster with a skull stuck in it, because we found a ghetto blaster with a skull stuck in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the, the funniest thing I've, I think so far is the... Um, like the ticket gates for the train station? Yep, with the skulls licking either side where you're supposed to put your, like, your card into the skull's mouth. <laughs> Oyster card or whatever. Just check on in. With the skull reader. Sure. Officials, maybe even a deacon or two. There we go. Riddick's asking some questions for me. This guy just does not get old. <laughs> the most pious. Yeah. The fact that he does it with a Welsh accent makes it way better. <laughs> You come from. Reloading. Cover me. Right to gun. Next target. This little guided tour of Warhammer has been quite interesting. I do like the fact that so much of it is very gray area everyone in Warhammer's gray area there's no there's no nice guy nicest guy in Warhammer probably the orcs uh, they, they, they don't do it because they hate people they do it because they like a good fight basically the extent of things I mean I I think some of the nicest I mean nicest some of the, some of the most reasonable guys in uh, 40k are the Exodite Eldar, because they saw what was going wrong with the Eldar and bailed, and then they just want to keep to themselves. Uh, we're going to oh, oh god, it's right there. Oh boy. Oh dear. Yeah, I think it goes after whoever wakes it up first. I didn't think I woke it up. I thought no, I, I someone else had woken it up. I thought I did. Yeah, I'm about to die. 
There we go. Oh, you're brain so it. close! Brain it. <laughs> oh! I you did it! With my grenade box. Oh. <laughs> you did it! Nice. Saved at the last moment. So a demon host like this one is one that's uh, it's had rituals to infuse a human body with a demon from the warp. Yeah. So the demon is like so shackled deliberate. inside the human body. Yep. Wait, where are you? Uh, Whoa! Who needs a grenade? Oh, that grenade's gonna be too late. Oh, I do not want to be out front. Got you covered. There's definitely a horde coming from somewhere. Where where are you showing up from, friends? Oh, oh no, only three. Oops. Oh, that's right. My special thing is not a attack. It's my torch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you talk about? This double barrel mode. Uh, the fourth is a random person who's actually been pretty decent. His name is Edith. Yeah. I kind of like the just juxtaposition of a person named Edith around this place. People can have normal names. <laughs> the volume of people they're supposed to be around here, someone, someone's someone's just... got to have a normal name, otherwise everyone's called something dramatic. When I when I hear an Edith, I think of a, you know, a little old lady bearing, barely able to see over her steering wheel. Yeah. Which, which is not very 40k because there's no there's no old people in 40k. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no one lives that long. <laughs> yes, I imagine the um, the amount of cholera and other diseases like to that would be uh, significant. If it were to happen, though, they'd probably be responsible for like 50,000 deaths. Yes, I know the little old lady was young once, but names like Edith are not particularly common, or as oh, they once were. Uh, I think I know where the third scripture is here. It also doesn't help that it is very similar to my grandma's first name of Judith. So, again, another name you don't expect to Name that to doesn't, doesn't get used much anymore, yeah. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Somebody come grab this scripture. Um, I've already got a scripture. Coming. Edith's got it. Ah, cool. Unless you want to pick up the med pack that Edith switched out for it. So you can't picture your grandma playing Warhammer? No. I don't no, think it's very grandma not. thing. Uh, more bridge than uh, Warhammer. <laughs> Maybe some rummy. She's she's more brutal at Scrabble. And Scrabble's a good one. 
Hey, Warhammer's yeah, my nan Scrabble. used to play a lot of Scrabble, and she was also the sort of person that had all the Scrabble like um, dictionaries, and <laughs> was happy to use them, which meant that you ended up like, no, Gran, XX is not a word, and then she'd break, she'd break out the Scrabble dictionary, and be like, yeah, look, it's in it, it's in it. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> all right then, fine. <laughs> All right, who wants to do scanning? I feel like I'll do it. I feel like if if she were born more today, um, she might be a min maxer in that way. <laughs> Quite possibly, yeah. You look like Nurgle. No way. Let me do my scanning in peace. Yeah, so another thing Nogle likes to do is make Help. weird facsimiles of plants out Holy of rotting material. That's a lot of people in one room. Thank you, Kappa. It's a real dark in this room. Alright. I'll cover the door, you do the scans. Yep. Says he'll cover the door, immediately get hit in the back of the head by someone who came I, through the I'm door. Standing <laughs> in the door. <laughs> Whoa. Get up where the skull went. Uh, it'll come back down in a sec. Just, uh, just hold position. Oh yeah, Graz, I've, I knew the, the horde came from the ceiling, I just wasn't expecting a whole horde to come from the ceiling. Probably should have expected it. Hello, Savitar. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Uh, the tower do seem all right at face value, but then the leadership cast uh, mind controlling everybody to be friendly. scan it's quite nice when the demolishers decide to throw the grenades where all the rest of the ads are falling out <laughs> so they just burn all their own troops to death <laughs> oh i wonder if this is a bit of nurgle vincent oh Okay, fair enough. If we are indeed part of the Inquisition, they didn't expect us as opposed to we didn't expect them. Wasted, once you've cooked them completely, do they sometimes explode? Is that what just happened? No, no, maybe. I think I saw one like. Explode like it's boiling from the inside much. out. Oh god. 
Lovely. Yeah. Tell it, it's falling back time. This way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was busy being, well, full of zeal. In theory, well, it's my thing, right? So it works. Huh? Oh, it's the, it's, yeah, it's the, uh, thought in the end. Oops, not that way. <laughs> Oh, uh, time for reload. Shaky screen. <laughs> oh. Ow. Uh, you found the spot where they all fall through the ceiling, have you? Yeah, I have. Sometimes they don't quite land well enough for you to get no, on. No, they don't. Oh, that one stuck to Kavak. <laughs> I think one of the grenades I threw landed on your belt, Kavak. Oh, dear. <laughs> and then you climbed on board the ship. I'm just bringing home a souvenir. Crashed on this screen? Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> I can spin Capac though. No, I could spin Cap. No. Oh, so Splitzy has abandoned your strike team. What? No, Fetch I the haven't. commissar. Fetch the commissar immediately. Trade up. <laughs> Sedition. He clearly said something about the Emperor. Your lack of faith, and that's the problem. The Emperor wears ladies' underwear. Oh dear, now we do have to excommunicate him. <laughs> Did I... Did I not get any mission rewards for that? Because it crashed on exit. Uh... That's oh, no, rude. I've, no, I've, I've leveled up because I've gone up to yeah, 12. Yeah, I haven't. I'm back in the lobby and I'm not in your group anymore. Uh, I'm just on my own in the lobby. Well, how did but... you consecrate previously splits? Because you'll be able to look at how much of the, um, the cubes you have and be able to see whether you got more, basically. Uh, I didn't do any... Thing. I only bought some stuff. I don't remember how much money I had. You don't remember how much you had before. I had like 20,000, I think, before I bought the thing. Let's have a look. 
Yeah, I, I got nothing. That just completely gave me zero rewards. Oh, hold on. Now, now my experience bar has jumped up a whole bunch. Yeah. It was showing empty before, but now it's like a quarter full. That just gave me nothing, even though we got all of the side quest stuff. That's rude. Mm hmm. I don't remember how much money I had before. Yep. Oh well, just have to do it again. Such is my punishment for my mild heresy. Hey, I did the heresy after the... Wait, did I do it after the... I did it after the punishment. The punishment came first. That doesn't make sense. I think he's actually referring to the fact that you're playing inverted. <laughs> Ugh. Don't remind me about the pain of the the beta of this thing. Yes, oh. Capek mentioned that getting you back into the game after not having a way of inverting the mouse in the initial beta was slightly hard work. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, that I was didn't... not a good experience uh, playing a game like this with a controller when I'm like, my mouse is right there. My mouse is right there. My mouse is right there. I did not get any scriptures towards the weekly contract, so it looks so like... that mission just failed. That's delightful. Um, did you want to accept my invite, Kamak? Although no. we did have the the wonderful moment last night where who, who was it that asked if that meant that you also inverted left and right? <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. Uh, oh, did you invite me on Steam, Steam? Well, I don't know how to invite you in game. Go into the social thing. Oh. This is game. Uh, I hit accept invite. If I join yours. Your request to join the strike team was declined. What about if you re accept my request to join yours? Wait, did you just deny me? What, what no. just happened? I was in the menu and I left the menu. Uh... I've just accepted both you and Wasted, and now it's broken? Your request to join the strike team was declined. Okay, try it again, because Wasted just joined <laughs> successfully. I think maybe we should have joined Dr. Capac. Just occasionally the invite thing just goes a bit... Aha! Yes, Bowman, I believe that is how it works. But he also uses S to move forward, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, as Full explained, reversal of all controls. <laughs> I just played a lot of... I played many flight sims before I ever played FPSs. Uses R for jump and space to reload. I can still remember the point at which I went from playing things like tonal velocity and so on to the point at which it was like... At, and at that point, a first-person shooter didn't have unlocked Y-axis. Yeah. You, you were just left and right on the mouse. There was no up and down and the point at which it, you know you went over the first FPS game comes along where it is that up and down and, and getting weirded out by the fact that it's not inverted. Because up until that mm -hmm. point, pretty much every game that used up and down on the mouse had been some sort of flight sim. Yeah, so it makes a lot of sense because you're pushing the you're pushing the control stick forward. Well, I'm ready to go. No, Grazob, I'm not an ESDF player. I'm an IJKL player. <laughs> Does Tex do that? Uh, no, Tex is um, worse. I thought he was left-hand uh, mouse IJKL. I think he's arrow keys. Oh. But that gives you so few shortcut keys near you. That's what I say. And he's like, no, it's fine. You've got control and, all, and shift and you've got the numpad, and, uh, yeah, but, and numpad next to it. And and index finger. I, I know, I know. There's nothing underneath, which is weird, but... Yeah. I am not a Southpaw, so I cannot claim to know these things. But, like, I'm just looking, it, like, IJKL for right hand is very similar. It's not quite as ergonomic. I reckon you'd be better off with PL colon apostrophe. 
EL colon that key that could be different depending on where the world where in the world you are. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> that yeah. would make the in-game menus very difficult to follow. <laughs> but it's like press the semicolon key. But uh, like if you were a lefty, that's the most equivalent to the like if you're playing Southpaw, having your right hand on those keys would be the most similar to WASD. <laughs> Logan, I'm left-handed and I have no idea how Tex plays the way he does. <laughs> yeah, I always forget that um, the UK keyboard is different and the EU one different again. Just turn the keyboard upside down. Because we still use US ones here. Fair enough. I wasn't sure if you had a separate no, standard for Oz or whether it had been influenced potentially by the fact that at least geographically you're surrounded by a bunch of nations that do have strange layouts and whether any mm. of that had kind of come across somehow. No, I, th I think it's good that we stuck with US here because it does make it... It tied us to one of the larger keyboard options at least. That means that by default, if you order a keyboard, it's going to be right. Whereas over here, mm. if you order a keyboard, you have to double check. Yeah. And if you start doing custom keyboards, like I'm now into, uh, you get to have the pleasure of like, do you want to buy some keycaps for your, for your keyboard? Well, if you're in the <laughs> US, that'll be 150 bucks. If you're in the EU or the UK, that's 150 bucks for the base set and then another 75 bucks for the keys that you're going to replace to make it into one. <laughs> EU slash UK one. And no, we don't just sell the UK keys. No, no, you want to buy the full Nord UK set, don't you? Because you want to be able to just one day decide that you want a Danish layout for your keyboard instead. <laughs> Not that I'm bitter about that in the slightest or anything. No. I mean, keycap sets have got like nine month waiting times and you've got to pay another 80 bucks over what everyone else does for the three keys I'm missing. Ugh. Just need stickers to put on your really expensive, really nice keyboard. All right, I'm so bringing up glue when they rub off. I'm bringing my big shield this time, so if we run into a demon host, I should be able to tank the whole thing. I'm, I've got to be honest, I'm pleasantly surprised that I lasted as long as I did, but then I was reminded by clockwork that that's because every 90 seconds I get invulnerability for a bunch of time. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I would have died otherwise, so I blatantly died twice in that demon host fight, not once. <laughs> then then you can get that feat where you heal back the damage you do. I'm surprised you guys managed to kill it while I was this close to being proper dead. Ah, give me the power hammer. Oh, the Thunder Hammer. Yeah, I just can't believe what Alucard was doing with it when we were playing yesterday. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know if you were around for that or if you'd headed off. No, I don't Don't think I saw that. We were, we'd be on a three, a Beast of Nurgle would show up, Alucard would say be right back, and literally two seconds later it's dead. On his own, he just goes over and goes bang, bang, it's dead. I'm not kidding. <laughs> That sounds like something. It's the sort of thing that, having seen him do it, if the developers watch that stream, they will nerf it. <laughs> to the ground. Because <laughs> yeah, I can you do are, this. Whoop. You are very clearly not supposed to be able to do that in this game. I'm sure they'll find many things like that. Yeah. Still weirded out by this person just standing behind the slightly open gate. Well, they've got to give you some sort of vague idea uh, that people exist. I mean, he's guarding yeah, all the, the, uh, the wounded. He's got friends. His yeah, friends aren't looking so great. I, sw I swear we came through here once and there was no, or maybe my game glitched and there was no one behind them. So I'm like, if why you... are they standing in a blank room? Hey, fellas. But at also, least that if, one makes more sense. If you have the, um, the blackout condition on where all the lights go out, all these people are dead. Really? <laughs> like if you get your blackout condition on one of the maps where the um, there are NPCs around, they're all dead. We ready for this? Ah, 
Ah, the bridge. Does that work? Tell him to hold still. <laughs> Politely request they stand there. Whoa, this guy got totally diced. Cane sword. <laughs> his arms and his legs are off. It dices, it splices, and it slices. What an hour for the small price of $74.99 and we'll include a collection of six plates and cutlery. And for the first 12 callers, you'll receive a free set of steak knives. Yeah. Chain steak knife, obviously. This is 40k. <laughs> yeah, instead of the chain, it's just steak knives spinning around. Uh, latency wasted. Are you noticing anything? Ow. I was literally just mentioning that. The latency is amusing because the hit detection is clearly client side. So it's picking up that I've hit something, but the animation is still delayed by the ping. Oh. So I'll hit something, I'll get the little red cursor in the middle of my screen that tells me I've killed it, and then about half a second later, it'll suddenly be in two pieces and just fall apart from nothing in front of me. <laughs> it's kind of amusing and it's still perfectly playable. <laughs> okay. And it's not like it does it every time, it's just occasionally there'll be a little sort of bit that's worse than normal. Yep. To see the zealot running off down a tunnel surrounded by flames saying, FACE ME! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Grenade! Oh. Found a grimoire. Rodded right, run past it. It's not like yeah, Cap to miss those things. Yeah, I didn't go that way. Uh, the no, 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 it was literally underneath find. the concrete we jumped down to, onto. Oh. The Grimoires are usually a bit easy to find because they actually glow green. Yeah, as the uh, scriptures just make a noise, and that noise is very easy to hide under noise, underneath the rest. I didn't even know they made a noise. Come back to watching the bot trying to jump up onto that ledge. Oh boy. Well, he's a big boy. Wait, the grimoires corrupt my health? Yeah, each grimoire you carry gives you like a guaranteed bit of corruption. Is it a progressive thing? Nope, uh, it's, it's just a set fixed amount per grimoire and it takes a while for it to apply so you'll see it ticking oh. down when we first pick it up. Uh, yeah, because I'm now getting into the second bar and I haven't taken a hit in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just the byproduct of the grimoires. Although I've noticed that there are curios you can get that reduce how much corruption you get from grimoires. Yep. Uh -huh. For if you fancy doing like lots of grimoire runs, I guess. Get the extra benefit from them. I mean... Very specific. Yes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Is this thing? Uh, you can shoot them and they explode. It's their way of hiding various objects around oh, right, that are slightly more subtle than a barrel. Glowing red thing must be yep. explosive. Yes. 
classic gamer mantra. Well, not just that, but the, the idea with those ones is if they hang them above your head, gamers also don't tend to look up very much, uh, and so they're in a sneaky place where you easily accidentally trigger the thing. Good point. You know, you'll be you'll be blowing away at a bunch of enemies down there, thing with your flamethrower or whatever, and won't have seen that up at the top there's one of them. Well, he just blasted right past me, going after somebody else. Me! I'm coming. Oh, he just threw me away, conveniently towards everybody else. Oh no, our bot's down. Go, go. This appears to be the wrong way. Yeah, it's on the next level down. What were you both doing down here? That's a good question. What are you doing, bot? bot Coming things. dog food. Mmm, bot kibble. Yeah, there's no question that those things have been coded to pick on people that are on their own. Same with the dogs. Like, mm. ran through the entire team because of where it spawned just to go down and find the one guy that's on his own nest. <laughs> yep. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? No, oh, I'm seriously. What? I just stood there tanking uh, everything you... with the shield. And then the second I lifted it up, just a random dude just shanked me with his bayonet <laughs> my word it's g-man the g-man i couldn't even see him there because the shield is too big ah right that's that's why bot was in a weird place someone was joining yeah uh, that makes sense Uh, oh, can't cure my... Nope. You'll go oh. tick back down again because of the grimoire. No, I didn't even fix it. Did you use it, definitely? Not so. Try again. Because there's two spare charges. And... Oh, no. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's ticking real quick. Yeah, I, I really wish the uh, corruption there you go. would... It did, did cure some of it, though. It's no longer ticking down. Watch it split. Oh, no, you have got some. you got a cap back up there with you. Uh, I think we should probably drop down. Just wanted to get that guy. Alright. Let's go help Flagellatus. Oh! Well, that's not good. <laughs> Stop running yeah, away from I'm me! Slowly learning with the uh, Zealot that when you actually do go down, they kill you really quickly because all your health is toughness. Oh, I'm almost slicing to the bait. Ow. Uh -huh. 
So many. Oh, bad. Ow. So many bad ow. Yeah. Those. It gets the point across. <laughs> yeah. Thought so. Satisfying. Yeah, they got the power fantasy thing down, Pat, don't they? Yeah, they like you're not too strong. You definitely get hurt, but I need some help in the control. Coming. Thank you, G-Man. Uh, someone's got to do the thing. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh man, my corruption is bad. Ow. Face. Ow, what? I took a shotgun to the face. Uh, some dude just ran up as it too much blood. That was me. I said too much blood. Oh. Now oh, what? How was that not the right time? Trap up. Delightful. Waste of time, eh, Riddick? Yep. It's very growly. Even more growly than the real thing. Hmm. Oh no, there are there are lady characters. I remember. Yeah, am I gonna turn? Look at my corruption. Oh yeah, we need a medicay station. Just stay behind me. <laughs> that would be a neat mechanic if you just actually turned when you got fully corrupted. I'm I'm. I'm willing to hold on to it to see what happens. Yes, more <laughs> Did you hear what my uncle just said? Which one? Which line? I, my uncle just said, yes, more trains. <laughs> <laughs> right. Your character absolutely loves him some trains.
Oh. Oh, that's not a good place to throw a grenade. Um, I disagree, Neverstun. Uh, I've not been taking damage and the thing's still ticking down. The, the corruption is very clearly coming from the Grimoire. Uh, it Unless only goes down to a certain amount. Are you sure? Because it's, it's still you... going down, even when I'm not taking damage. Like It has been constantly just very slowly going down. Maybe, maybe you are corrupted. Oh, oh no, 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 don't wake up. Alright, G-Man. Oh, not, not the thing I wanted to do. Now, I'm down. Oh. Oh, someone else is going to have to pick up that grimoire I dropped. Nah, that's a wipe. Oh, that's a wipe. Yep. Oh, why, G-Man, why? Because two of us went down to um, stuff that wasn't the demon host, and the demon host kills two people. Yep. And there was uh, a sniper. And there was a sniper at the back, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sniper you get rewards this time, at least. Sniper Yay! and demon host is the I got more rewards from a fail than a victory. Oh dear. <laughs> um, I might call my stream there. Are you two going to continue? Yeah, I'll probably keep going for a bit. I've only just started, so yeah, yes, it would be odd for me to suddenly stop. <laughs> would indeed. Very oh. unlikely as well. Now, uh, have a coin around here. What? Send them coin. Come back. Come yeah, back. Coin. Come back. Yeah. What? He's gonna flip a coin to decide where to send his people, and I'm saying send them to you. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Heads or tails? Uh, edge. Oh, it almost did land on the edge. <laughs> Alright. Well, I uh, hope you two continue to have some fun. I will uh, see you guys later. And later let's, raid. let's raid a Kapak. Shame that uh, you missed out on one of the two missions, but hey. Uh, you know, it happens. It's, it's the it's the journey, not the destination. That's what they say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for coming along, everyone. I'll see you all later.